Oh, oh. We're on. What do we got? Whoa! He's flying. Dude, this is sick. This is sick. Okay, well, nobody said I was smart. Oh god, he's off to a hot start. Old Town, where are you at? What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Weston Smith channel. Today, dudes, we're taking out the new kayak, Maiden Voyage. If you guys want to check this thing out, link down in the description. I don't even know if the thing floats, but literally, we're about to put the Minn Kota motor on here, and we're here with my buddy Ryan. We linked up for the first time. Ryan rigged. I'll put his information down in the description. The man is hustling. He's posting multiple videos per week on his channel, and also, he's got an account on Instagram approaching 10,000 followers. If we can help him get it there, that would be amazing, you guys. Appreciate all your support. Let's go ahead and uh, get these things off the trailer, man, and have a fun time. Let's get to it. Hell yeah. All right, man, we're loading up. Quick wardrobe change in case the sun decides to peek out. It's looking like it may. I got some comfy, cozy, breathable, long sleeve, hooded shirts. You guys can grab these too. I got links down in the description for all this Guggen gear, man. If you want to get a little bit of that stuff on the cheap, feel free. Let me get this thing loaded up for the first time, y'all. We're going to see if this motor really works. I don't know where to put stuff on this thing yet, you guys. So we're just going to wing it. Look at this. You want to see some ingenuity? Bam, line cutters. Look at this, money bag. Watch this, dunk. <laughs> and then I think somebody actually said, this is like a hog trough storage. Like, look at that. I mean, I'll take it. We'd be cruising. Uh, GoPro down here, underwater footage and releases. I wonder if I should put the batteries back there. You know what? There's actually a dry storage on this thing. That's probably smart. Let me see. Oh yeah. Gotta tell you what, it's not the largest of dry storages, but it'll do. Put the remote in there before I lose it. Pliers, why not? They need to stay dry, keep them from rusting. And then the scale, man, I guess we're just gonna... How about that? Let's see what happens. Oh, super manageable. Until we get to the next one. All right, let's give it a whirl. This one's 12. Dude, this one, this one's only like as big as the bona fides. Actually, actually the bona fide I think is longer. This is good. Where do I put my terminal? I guess I'm just gonna put it right here for a minute. Instruction manual, because I really don't know what I'm doing on this thing. This is like the ultimate first impressions video. I don't even know how to turn the motor on or anything. All right, I think I gotta put this battery on. Let me go get the motor and we are about to launch y'all. Oh, appreciate that. Heck yeah. yeah. See, look, she ain't that heavy, huh? I don't know how to work this thing, man. I don't think what I have tied on is necessarily what I'm gonna use because I got two worms, the exact same worm. We were doing an MTB slam the other day. Anyways, that's besides the point. Uh, we got the crankbait, which is a deep diver. Probably won't be using it here. I don't have a graph. I don't know where it's gonna be that deep. We can find out. Got a frog, got a Texas rig, and then I got a, uh, a drop shot. Uh, is that your first time on a pedal yak or no? First time oh, dude, you're gonna, you, oh, you're gonna flip like I flipped. I was, yeah, you don't actually flip. It's pretty stable, but let's see if I can turn this thing on. If not, I already told Ryan, I'm just gonna paddle tonight. <laughs> this is 100% up to how well I wired this uh, stuff, these connections. Yep, if it falls, it's all good. All right, here we go. I think if I connect this and then I connect this, I'm pretty sure it's now live. I don't know. Got to find out. Okay, the battery's in there, it's secured, and, oh, I need to, I need to plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. Apparently there's only one way this thing can plug in. Yep, she's plugged in. In the unboxing video, you heard me say something like, I wish there was a lock here. Well, it doesn't really matter because it's not gonna slide out as long as you strap it down on the back, so I was mistaken. So the seat is actually good. Now, uh, I need to plug this in, and then there's also something that says top, so. 100% can't screw this up. It's much easier with two hands, I imagine. There we go. All right, so far as I know, it's plugged in. We're about to find out, though. Could have easily overlooked something. I think so. All right, we're out here. All right, let's see. I'm going to put this paddle away and hope I don't need to get it back out. This boat feels so much bigger than the PDL that young Ryan is on. Oh, what an experience, man. Let's see what happens here. I quite remember what this does, but I imagine I'm supposed to attach that to something. What does that go to? So this goes down. I must be missing something. What does this do? That that pulls that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure this thing out. You get it going? Well, I will. I just don't. I don't know what I'm doing. I just want to make sure I'm not uh, harming it by. Put okay, there. It's kind of going. Getting it in. Okay. What's going on though? Something's not. Now how the fudge? Okay. So then this has to like do something. That would make sense. 
Yeah, so there's that. And then do I lock this in somewhere? Okay, hold on now. Where does this go? I'm missing something, guys. What am I missing? Secure the deployment line into the jam cleat to lock into place. I wonder if Mark will be able to answer. <laughs> the man with the answers. <laughs> kill switch? The kill switch, there you go. Okay, so there's only one of those and I need to put it in there and, I, and then maybe it'll start up? Yes, it's, it's got a magnet and the kill switch, uh, as soon as you put that right there by your side, when you pull it down, yes. try to wedge the uh, the rope into that cleat. Not from there. Okay, um, got it, okay. All right, I'm gonna go get that. Thank you, sir. All right, brother. Bye. Mark has just been killing it with the advice on this thing. All right, I think I got it figured out. I got to get a piece out of the truck. All right, you just stay right here. That's my life savings. I feel like most people would have just not shown all this and would have just like <laughs> been like, yeah, so I'm out here. <laughs> yeah, if you guys are learning something out here with me, consider hitting that like button. That would mean the world to me. Let's go ahead and try and launch this thing. So literally, it was way easier than I thought. You pull this rope, right? It goes all the way down. Stays down in here. Ow. I think it's good. Yeah, that's not good. It's not beeping. Do you have to start it with the remote for the first time? Motor not found. Well, that's interesting because it's right here. Okay, so I got the kill switch on here and it's it didn't beep when I lowered it down into the water. So I'm assuming my connection to the battery might be no good. Is that what you would think? You crimped everything down, right? Uh, well, maybe not. I don't know what, maybe I didn't do that. Gotcha. Uh, oh, shoot. Hmm. Oh, I think we got it. Oh, boys. I think we got it using the soft. Okay. Here we go. I think we're in the money. Oh, the motor's on. Get the F out of here. Wow. Thank you, Mark. 45 minutes on the water later. I think we're about to be able to use this thing. Okay, let me see. Check mark. Okay. Oh my God, it detects it. No way. No way. Yo, hold up. There's no way this is for real. Where's the rudder? There it is. Okay, rudder's down. Oh, we're about to go full speed, y'all. Let's just put this like, let's just, let's just go. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> no way, we're on 10. We're already going almost four miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No way. You steer just with the foot pedals. <laughs> it's got to be a joke. Pardon my wake. Don't let me spoil the fishing. How stable are the kayaks? <laughs> no. shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Drive by. Well, there you have it, y'all. Full speed ahead. Where's my remote? Whoa. All right, I better slow down. This is good fishing right here. Ryan and I are about to see. Which one's faster, guys? Do we do we want to do like a 20 roll? Like we start at like 20% or do we want to go from a stop? Let's go past the, the ramp. This right, is the real right. showdown right here. The ultimate Old Town test. We're going with the PDL 106 versus the Old Town 120. This has got some weight on it. The, I said Old Town 120. This is the autopilot. Hold on. Let me get more aerodynamic. I got to put this rod up. I'm just going to go straight for 10. I don't even know like if this thing's going to react weird. I'll probably bump into you. Might go two out of three. It might get crazy. I'm on 10. You ready? All right. One, two, three, go. Oh god, he's off to a hot start. Old Town, where are you at? Where are you at? <laughs> 3.7 miles an hour. Oh, I got a steer too. Oh my god, I got a steer too. Go to the right. What? 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 Let me ride in his wake. Let me ride in his wake. Oh, I gotta correct this steering. This, no way. He's way ahead. I might catch him on the last quarter mile. The pedal yak might take the win. What do you guys think? <laughs> I hit a top speed of four miles per hour in this thing. Dang, he smoked me to the ramp where we launched. I think you're the winner, man. Dude, that thing is just like riding the assault bike or something. <laughs> All right, what do we got to do with these kayaks next, guys? Let me know down in the uh, comments. I'm over here drifting sideways. <laughs> it's supposed to, dude, it's not, look at, what? <laughs> How does it track? <laughs> this thing's so weird. Okay, oh, straighten her out. Oh, well, if the rudder was down, I could correct the back end. This is funny. I can literally make story posts on my way to the fishing spot. Like, 
I'm going to be so much more efficient. You have no clue. I'll be making 10 posts a day. By the way, if y'all are following on Instagram, you'd be able to see all this stuff ahead of time. What do you say we get serious and like try and fish? Brian's like, I'm never coming out with him again. <laughs> now I need my rudder. Where's my steering? There we go. I haven't tried spot lock yet, but it won't matter really today, I don't think. Yeah. Wacky rig should be a sure thing, but... All right, let me go hit this side over here then for a second. I'll let you take this one and we'll see what's up. All right, y'all. First cast, like two hours into the journey out here. Can't thank MDLR Fishing enough for helping me get this thing together, dudes. So much more deck space. This 120 has really got it going on. I know they make that 136. That's just got to be, oh my gosh, a monster. That is really for those big waters. This is perfect for most anything I'm going to ever tackle. And probably another 20 pounds, I think I said lighter, 25 pounds lighter. So might be a little bit easier to get in and out of the back of y'all's truck. You guys know Devin and I have that trailer. Ends up working perfect. I just put one tie down, um, but it's actually like a wire lock. That's why I felt confident because I went through the hole where the motor goes. So I literally just used that one thick wire lock. And uh, that was that. There we go, right on the wall. Come on, boys. Hit me with the big one. Dude, that tree looks so good. Oh, look, it extends over here. Ooh, this could be a fish. Got the front rod holder right there. Keep that thing ready to go. Untie my crank. Toss him in the cup holder. Look at all the space on this kayak, dudes. This thing is so cool. I'm gonna go ahead and rig up the saucy swimmer that caught Devin that like six and a half the other day. Oh wow, this isn't a tree, it's a pipe. Boy, am I smart. This is what I was casting towards over here thinking it was a tree a minute ago. Oh, the motor's hitting it, sweet. The safe bet is to paddle away from this before I turn the motor on. All right, y'all, this is cool. I've now just got it on the one speed, the lowest setting, and I'm just kind of cruising along the bank as I make these casts. Comfortable seat, this is too cool. Yes, sir. Let's go see what this guy wants. How's it going? So we gotta get one of these things. Have you seen this model? No. Oh, um, it's yeah, it's got a remote. It's got spot lock. I've never used it. This is the first time using spot lock. So it just it keeps you in position based on satellites. Yeah, there's a battery under the seat. I just I just got the battery for it. This is my first time taking it out and using it. Yeah, you said, well, you're cruising. <laughs> I didn't see, yes. <laughs> so I didn't see your no, I just got, it, it just came out. So, um, uh, fishermen or no? You can't hear it. It's, it's, it's pretty quiet, right? It's funny, I'm just getting used to it. It's new to me, so. This company, Old Town Canoes, though, I, I brought up the fishing thing because that ICAST, which is the big convention every year, uh, they won like best of show with this kayak. It just just came out. I think they've got it patented with the trolling motor down there in the middle. You know, some people have paid extra aftermarket to put a motor on the back or on the front, but you gotta usually rig it up. It's, it takes more work. Yeah. This one's just built like this from the factory. That's well, um, they send it to me for free because I'm making videos and promoting it. But uh, <laughs> the total cost uh, is like 4,500. The boat, the kayak with the motor is like 37.99. And then uh, the battery was like, I got one that's kind of top of the line. I paid for the battery. It's like 600 bucks and uh, waterproof. It goes under the seat, seven pounds. Some people buy big lead acid ones that are like 25 pounds. So, it, you know, it's already heavy. I don't want to make it more heavy, right? Thank yeah, you. my pleasure. So Thank you guys. Y'all have a good one. I'm finding if you want to stand up and fish, it's best to raise the rudder because the rudder's down right now. And what's happening is I give it a little juice with the motor and try and like turn it right to face back towards the water, right? So I'm, uh, I was doing this right here, but then I would start twisting to the left because the rudder was down and it was kind of angled to the left. So if you want to stand up and fish, it seems like, and use the remote to kind of control and just stay along the bank line or ha what have you, it seems best to uh, raise that rudder up and then you can drop it back down when you want to sit down and steer with the foot pedals. So basically you just leave the motor in the forwards position and you steer with your feet. But if you got the rudder up, then you can just steer with this right here. So you definitely don't want to be standing and having this motor on like a high speed because then if you try and correct your angle, you could definitely like uh, fall off. <laughs> so it's best to have that kill switch actually attached to you versus attached to the boat. That is what it is made for. And it's also best to be wearing your life vest. I just got that thing stashed in the front pocket of the boat, but there has to be a fish under this tree. I might throw a drop shot down. Have you felt out the middle yet with anything on the bottom or no? Running low on my supply of dragon drops, man. I got another sunset bug in here. I'm gonna throw a drop shot out in the middle and see if it'll work. Next up would be the Mondo worm. In fact, the Mondo worm sounds more fun to throw at this very moment to me, but if I get anything on this little finesse setup, it's gonna be a good old fight. Six or eight pound braid on here, so the drag is set real light. I mean, it's gonna be the fight of a lifetime if I hook up into something, anything over one pound. 
Yeah, they were like, dude, that thing's so quiet. <laughs> and like, <laughs> well, dude, I'm not getting snagged, so this might be like kind of deep. The sun might not be getting down there and the grass really growing, so I might find one hanging out down here. This drag and drop might have been the right decision. We'll see here soon enough. Ryan's on the jerk bait, or at least he was a second ago. What are you tossing? Now he's switched over to the vile bug. I mean, oh, oh. We're on. Drag and drop. Drag and drop down low. What do we got? Woo! He's flying. <laughs> All right. First catch on the new boat, man. Let's see if we can get let's see if we can land this guy. Oh yes. On the finesse setup, y'all. The Zodius rod. No way. Oh my dude, this is sick. This is sick. No way. Don't take me into a tree, little buddy. I was gonna say I felt a bite just seconds beforehand. What is going on? <laughs> This guy's got some fight and I can't horse him in guys. I have light leader line on here. Oh my God, he's under the boat. <gasps> Not the prop. I forgot this thing's got a motor. <laughs> no way. Come here, bud. Oh my God, he's literally like a pound. He's literally like a pound. This is nothing special. This is nothing special. <laughs> what is going on here, buddy? How are you doing? Oh no, don't do that. Where's your mouth? Open it. Gotcha! Yo! Right out there in the middle, man. Look at that. Rod holder up front. I could even spot lock if it was windy. I mean, this is the life right here. Wow, he did kind of choke that. Where's my pliers? All right, guys. First catch on the new boat. Heck yes. Oh, gosh. I would have lost that, but I got the lanyard on. <laughs> All right, buddy. Thank you so much. First one on the new yak. That was a cool fight. Let's see if I can get something bigger, though on that spinning gear man like i don't only show the big stuff like a lot of people will so that that's one thing that people will almost make fun of me and yeah. at the same time i'm growing faster because i post more and i show that's, stuff that's what i've learned from you, it's man. real life that post more you know like that is without a doubt like like so much bigger than a follow for me everyone's going to like every post is going to average out a certain result probably you know you post more Better results. Yeah, that's awesome. Anytime you promote, if you can put money towards it, you're probably reaching up to like an extra 40,000 people or 50,000 maybe, like potentially with that amount. Do you find that your gear pictures do better? Oh, yes. Like, like nobody even cares about my fish pictures. Oh, God. Oh, right. Oh, I lost him, dude. On the fall. On the fall. He smacked it. Is he still on? Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I just had a little slack. It was... <laughs> Dude, what just happened? I think a bluegill just got a hold of me. Like, as soon as it hit the water, dude, something smashed it. He did let go of it, by the way. There was, like, total slack. And then all of a sudden, I felt the weight again. Something... Dude, there was definitely, like, a bunch of bluegill right there or something. One thing I've noticed, like, it's, it's calm out here right now. But as soon as I stop the motor, it really doesn't shift to the left or to the right that much more. Like, if I was on the boat and I, like, go to the left and then I stop it, you almost got to hit it with that little counter steer sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But look, I just hit it to the left, almost like fully to the left on about half of the maximum output. And as soon as I let off of the motor button and told it to stop, it just kind of like stops turning. So that is interesting. I, it's actually nice. If anything, that's a, that's a plus. I think after I crimp that second connection, I'm going to be in good shape. I am freaking pumped to use this thing more and more. I mean, I haven't even had to work. I haven't even broken a sweat trying to paddle or pedal this thing. And there's nothing against those types of kayaks because obviously we have them all and we enjoy them because they all have their perks. So this thing right here, it's gonna be tough to get through some areas with the motor and then I'm just gonna have to raise it up and it's gonna be like, okay, well, it can be more of a headache. You're talking about heavier weight, but at the same time, this makes fishing very enjoyable when you don't have to think about where's my paddle? How am I gonna adjust for this fishing spot? But even about the pedals, I can just stand here and bada bing, bada boom, keep myself in the spot lock position if I don't wanna drop down an anchor. It's absolutely nuts, man. There's a reason this one best of show at iCast literally beat out all the baits, anything tackle, rod, reel, it doesn't matter. This was like best of show for the whole event. So if you guys are interested in this thing right here, my first impressions tell you it is money well spent. But don't worry, we're gonna be using it and talking about a lot more features throughout this evening and in the future videos. So subscribe and hit those notifications. Help us hit full time status, man. That's what we're going for right now. And be able to do more traveling and create some awesome content for you guys. Our East Texas series did so well, we really want to do stuff like that on a regular basis, and we definitely will once we get the opportunity to do so. With that being said, let me try and get a fish off this thing, man. Let's see if we can't get something a little bit bigger than that drop shot fish. This is the ultimate in hands-free, man. <laughs> I've got it on low speed. We're just making our way out of this little cut. I can literally be chowing down on some tacos. Is it Tuesday? It's Taco Tuesday, y'all. Taco Tuesday. 
we could literally be chowing down on some tacos, filming. I'm steering with my feet. I can up the. I can. I can go faster if y'all want. I can go faster. Let me just put this thing. Let me just crank it on up. I'm just gonna go to ten. We're chilling. I mean, literally, I could be eating rice and beans right now, just Taco Tuesday and out. This is ridiculous. Look, this is literally the color. This is little. I wonder if we should call this kayak rice and beans. Dude, rice and beans. Oh my God! Is it refried though, or black? It's kind of like black beans. How's the pedal life? <laughs> it's not. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Don't do it. Don't do it. I've been on the flex, 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 flex. Woo! Breaking out the frog out here, man. It's getting a little late. I'm thinking, gotta be something under all this grass. Lost a rod, y'all. We're gonna have to go in for this one with the old treble hooks. Yeah, it's a cool spot. This is my first time ever bringing a kayak here, so. All right, let's see about retrieving this rod. <laughs> yeah, I got something too, but it's not it. Oh, it's it! No way! I got it! Whoa! Hey! There's a $500 savings. <laughs> Dude, you're the man. I appreciate the treble hooks. I was gonna have to stay here until. Right, here's the hook. Here, just take some goodies. We'll have to come back out here and fish sometime yeah. if you're up for it, man. I really appreciate that. Uh -huh. I guess we better call it on that note, huh? <gasps>